Ape community is cheering up what BlackRock is putting on the table. Guys, look at this. We've been waiting patiently for that. BlackRock star trader goes net short as the hedge fund losses mounts. According to Bloomberg, things are about to get real. BlackRock star money manager Alistair Hubbard has turned bearish as his hedge fund endures its worst ever losses amid the sharp decline in stocks. To put some context, BlackRock, the biggest fund manager in the world. As you can see over here, the BlackRock strategic equity hedge fund tumbled 13% this year through April. A person with knowledge in the matter didn't disclose his identity. Are you surprised about this? That exceeds its worth annual decline of 11%. The main manager who has profit from the historic surge in stocks since starting the fund in 2011 turned net short for the first time ever this month. And to give you an idea why they turned short, well, look at this. The net portfolio was long 35% at the end of the last year. And we're talking about people with extreme knowledge of the matter, people who are managing billions of billions of billions of dollars. If these guys are losing money and these guys are uh, pulling out the Uno reversal card, right? Flipping the strategy, shorting the market, essentially, guys, because, uh, right, they cannot afford to lose more being long on the market. If these guys are losing their shirts, how about the average, middle size or any other hedge fund on the market? Let me know in the comment section. Are you surprised a BlackRock spokesman declined to comment? BlackRock shares have tumbled about 34% this year alone. In March, letter to investors, Chief Executive Officer Larry Fink expressed disappointment in the stock's performance and cited challenging markets for the decline. This is why, guys, in my earlier video, we talked about and we went over what the Fed has done wrong and what could happen with these guys, institutional investors, if the Fed didn't adjust their rate strategy because these guys i don't know how bad things could go but there will be point in which you know these guys cannot go extremely high and concentrated bets on the market example they couldn't go extremely short right now they will try to go short and see how it goes because this market, you know, saw a major, major correction. So when this market actually find a consolidation and start bouncing back on, on upward trajectory, it will be crazy. So this is why they cannot be absolutely sure, you know, when they have to go heavy on the short position and heavy back on the long ones. Simple explanation. If you go over some of the cryptos today, they were up 20%. This could happen on the stock market as well. Just think about if the market is down, let's say, a month in a row, right? And you decide to short on the second month and, and the second month, the first day of the second month, the, the stock market rebounds 15, 20%. You will get wiped out, right? This is what could happen. And it makes sense because if things are going straight down for extended period of time, at some point, you should see inflection point in which the market should go up. Same thing works in a general perception uh, on the market if if a stock or, or a coin it goes straight up right at some point you will see inflection point and the coin should decline so let me know if the blackrock is losing 34 percent of its stock this year the biggest money manager you know so much confidence knowledge and, and expertise i mean what we should say about the average stocks average companies average hedge funds private equity wealth managers so on and so forth they are not even in this category just think about if these guys are losing 34% this year, we could easily see 2 or 3x losses percentage-wise in the other companies. They could be down 60-70%. And nobody speaks about this and you think I'm joking? Look at this. This is the latest updates on the numbers of Tiger Global after the current and recent sell-offs. Hedge fund Tiger Global losses $17 billion due to the tech stock route. 17 billion dollars guys not a million we're talking about 17 billion dollars so as you can see the market doesn't care who you are and where you're from let me know in the comment section who is next subscribe to the channel guys like this video and come back for more